Shabian, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, St. Andrew businesswoman charged with trying to kill hubby. Please remember to subscribe, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. In a twist of fate, Vanessa Johnson Lee, the 33-year-old St. Andrew businesswoman who has been charged with the attempted murder of her husband, Edward Lee, had been pushing for his arrest or reported assault when she was, in turn, taken into custody. Johnson Lee, co-owner of Leah's Sugar-Coated Treats, is accused of using her BMW motor car to mow down Lee at a business place on Constant Spring Road in St. Andrew sometime in November last year. The police were summoned and Lee was taken to hospital, where he was admitted with two broken arms. Johnson Lee was arrested at her governor terrace. Kingston ate home on Friday, following months of reported bickering with her husband. She was subsequently charged after an interview. In an interview on Wednesday, Patrick Peterkin, the attorney representing Johnson Lee, said his client's arrest came as a surprise. My client was really subject to an assault, have gotten injuries in relation to all of that, and we were expecting that that would be addressed and she ends up in custody while the other person walks around freely, Peter King said. Johnson Lee has been held at the Bridgeport Police Lockup in St. Catherine, one of the few women lockups in the country. Peter King said that he has been unable to secure a bill for his client because of the nature of the charge, but has been pushing for a court date to secure her release. We're basically struggling and fighting to get a court date for her. We're trying to see if we can get her before the court before the end of the week, he said. Meanwhile, Lee's attorney, Christopher Towson, said that the couple were in speaking terms but divulged that the incident escalated and his client thought it best to report the matter and the full story to the police. Towson noted that he could not divulge what he called the full story because of the impending court case. My instructions are that both arms were broken. She ran over him and indicated that he should have died. This was happening at a time when he was recovering from the death of his father, which I gather was instructive in the breakdown of the marriage, Towson said. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.